Hi, my name is Lynn Thompson. I'm the president of Cold Steel Incorporated. Um, we're a knife company that has broad interest in the self-defense market. And one of the things I've always been interested in is pepper spray. So when I got a chance to start my own pepper spray division, I jumped at it. And I want to introduce you to our new brand, Inferno. Inferno is a unique pepper canister self-defense tool that combines hot habanero chili peppers with black pepper so that when you spray somebody with it, there's an involuntary sneeze reflex that just pulls all the goodness through their eyes and nose and clear down into their lungs, an immediate reaction that's very debilitating. The eyes are gonna close, the, the nose is gonna close up, the, the breathing is gonna contract, almost a survival breathing. All the exposed flesh, all your skin is gonna be flaming red hot, like someone took a, a blowtorch and touched your skin with it. It has enormous stopping power, and it's just an absolute great self-defense um, unit. It's a great self-defense advantage, and we want to show you more about it in this DVD presentation. Hang on to your hats. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. I'd like to take this opportunity to explain to you why I think you should buy Inferno. First of all, we use all natural ingredients in our Inferno. Everything that's inside one of these canisters, if you could stand it, you could eat it. There's no harm, no foul. So everything in this canister is natural, all natural products. Inferno is a combination of these habanero chili peppers and these coarse black pepper kernels. What we do is we take these pepper kernels and we crush them up really fine. Okay, and even crushing that, I can already feel that potent black pepper. So we take this black pepper, we crush it up fine like this and even finer. Look at that, super fine, look at that. We combine it with this super red hot habanero chili pepper. And then for propellant, we use this HFC 134A propellant. It's the same propellant that's in this asthma inhaler. It's super reliable, super effective. <coughs> you can feel just the effect of holding up that Ground black pepper is already making me choke a little bit and cough. So we combine the super fine black pepper, habanero chili pepper, and our propellant, which atomizes both ingredients 2,000 times finer than our competitor's product. We get these particles micro, micro, microscopic. I don't know if the camera can come in here and see this, but look how fine this is ground already. It's so fine you can't hardly believe it, okay? So when you get sprayed with Inferno, there's this huge involuntary sneeze reflex. It's like you took this and threw it in the air. Look at that. That's pretty finely ground black pepper, but that's nothing compared to what you'll see in an Inferno can. The habanero chili pepper extract and the black pepper are an absolutely fantastic combination in stopping people. What happens is when you spray somebody with Inferno, Huh. All that black pepper hits their nose. They get an involuntary sneeze reflex. <gasps> that huge withdrawal, indrawing of breath sucks all the goodness deep into their lungs and esophagus and into their nasal passages. The eyes are horribly affected. All the capillaries swell up and you're going to have enormous difficulty seeing. I can remember when I was sprayed with uh, pepper spray in the early 90s, I felt like my eyes were just clogged with brown goo. I couldn't see hardly at all. So the eyes, the, the ability to see is gonna be really compromised, albeit only temporarily. Remember, this is temporary. They're gonna have a, a tremendous loss or restriction of vision. Uh, the nose is gonna be horribly affected. All that stuff's gonna go up your nose. It's gonna be flaming hot. It's gonna go down your mouth. All of your nasal passages are gonna swell up all the mucous membranes throughout your soft tissue area here of your nose and throat are gonna be horribly affected. You're gonna draw it into your lungs. It's gonna affect your breathing. Now, look it, it's not gonna stop the breathing, but it's gonna cause labored breathing. You're gonna go, <laughs> when's this gonna be over? I remember, okay? So all of your senses from your face are gonna be affected and your skin is also gonna be affected. Now, I remember what it was like. It feels like a blowtorch was passed over all your exposed skin. 
I can remember the burning on my neck, the back of my neck and on my hands and forearms. I can remember the burning on my face. I remember half an hour after I was shot, I said, when is this going to stop, hey? It does stop, but it doesn't, it feels like it's going to go on forever. Inferno is formulated to be effective immediately, to stop people in their tracks and to keep them from completing whatever felonious assault they were going to do, okay? It's big stopping power. You should own it. I'd like to acquaint you with some of the advantages of Inferno. Um, one of the things that I think is really cool about our pepper spray is that it's very inexpensive. Almost anybody can afford to own a good can of Inferno. I don't care if you live in the United States or Canada or Australia or Europe. It's affordable almost for everybody. Almost every person, especially in our country in the U.S., can afford to have a can of Inferno uh, backing them up in a self-defense situation. So I think that's something that's a tremendous advantage uh, that it's so inexpensive. It also has a very sh long shelf life. Um, if you take care of your can of Inferno and avoid puncturing it, you know, don't, don't drive a truck over it, you know. If you take reasonable care of it and keep it out of extreme heat, it'll last five years on the shelf. Um, if you shake it and can hear the contents moving in there a little bit, it's good to go. So it has a really long shelf life. It's also very effective. Uh, I touched on this earlier. You shoot somebody with our Inferno um, pepper foam and huh, you're going to wreck their world. For the next 20 minutes, they're not even going to know their name just about. You're going to induce um, uh, enormous sneeze reflex into their face. It's going to suck that stuff into their lungs. Their eyes are going to shut. Their nose is going to shut down. It's going to go into their ears. It's going to go down their throat. You're going to have, like I said earlier, just survival breathing. You're going to be breathing <sighs> like that. You're going to be really, really incapacitated if you get shot with our Inferno uh, pepper spray because it's got black pepper and habanero chili pepper acting in concert to give the maximum effect. Um, the other thing I like about our Inferno uh, canister uh, self-defense tool is that it's non-lethal. Yes. Is it painful? Yes. Is it incapacitating? Yes. But the effects are only temporary. There's no lasting damage from anybody being shot with our Inferno. Um, no one goes blind from it. No one has any serious physical reactions to this that are long term. Short term, yes, they're going to be incapacitated. They're going to be in pain. They're going to be extremely uncomfortable. They're not going to want to fight anymore. Okay. But 24 hours later, they're going to be good as new. That's a huge advantage. There's very, very, very few self-defense tools I can think of that have such immediate stopping power and no lasting damage. So that's a huge advantage to Inferno. Um, I can't hardly describe how much I appreciate that fact that it's non-lethal and it's non-permanent in the damage that it inflicts. Um, the other thing I like about Inferno is that outreaches almost all the commonly encountered street weapons with possible exception of firearms. Um, even our smallest cans of Inferno, like this, this is our 1.3 ounce uh, unit. This thing reaches out six, seven feet. That will outreach a common weapon like a piece of steel pipe. It'll outreach a machete. It'll outreach a kitchen knife. It'll outreach a really popular tactical folder. This is a really big um, folding knife, and it'll way outreach this, so it has a lots of advantage and reach. It'll outreach a, a fighter like our Tanto. Way outreach this. And it will even outreach a baseball bat. This is a very commonly encountered street weapon. It'll way outreach a baseball bat or a walking stick, or even a sword. It'll even outreach this. And our biggest canister weapons will reach out there to um, 10, 15 feet in more. So you can outreach most of the com commonly encountered street weapons.